Welcome to Cloud Dolls. As I promised you, I'm coming with a big video. This time with a collaboration, Monster Hunters World. Hosted by Hertz Horus Doll and with the collaboration of Ita, Poe and me. The collaboration is about the game Monster Hunted World is an action role playing game developed and published by Capcom. In the game, the player takes the role of a hunter to hunt down and either kill or trap monsters that roam in one of several environmental spaces. If successful, the player is rewarded through loot consisting of parts from the monster and other elements that are used to craft weapons and armor. I choose for my monster Chain Uchiever. She's an elder dragon and the final boss in the story mode of Monster Hunter World. Chain Uchiever is a large dragon with an otherworldly appearance. It has two eyes and six orange sensory organs running up the length of his horns. Part of his body glow eternal blue, making his skin appear crystalline and translucent. When he's enraged, his torso glows in a hot red and orange. Let's get started. First of all, I cut the hair really short as usual. my hair dryer I make the vinyl soft of the head to pop it out out from the body without breaking the neck I hope now with my scuba driver I scrub the inside of the head through the neck hole and with my tweezers I pull all the left hair and glue out of the head I notice that the head is broken so I'm gonna use gel super glue I like to use gel super glue because I have more control of it the other one is too liquid after drying I have to cut the ears and then I'm sanding them to make them uniform With 100% acetone, of course, I have to take all the makeup factory out. Because I'm gonna rerouting the hair, I'm gonna paint it the scalp first with blue and then I will reroute it one hair at a time. First I go around and, and then in the middle. When I'm ready, I drop some tacky glue inside of the neck hole. Make sure that all of the hair inside is covered with glue and I let it dry for the night. It's time for the body. First I'm gonna sand it with my nail buffers. And then I'm gonna clean it with nail remover without acetone because everyone knows that acetone melts the plastic. With my epoxy clay, part A and B equal parts, I'm gonna make her more feminine, making a big breast for her. With the help of my silicone tool and water. Let it dry for the night, sand it, and then I'm gonna paint it with blue acryl with the same color of the body. I give it two layers. I 
I give it two layers of Mr. Super Clear. I let it dry for 30 minutes between the layers using the mask and it's time with my watercolor pencils and my soft pastels to draw the face. With a light pencil, I start drawing what I imagine her to be. I want to give her a little touch of uh, mystic also to the dragon. So I'm going to play with reds, blues and I'm going to try to mix everything with water and acryl. With my thin brush, I'm gonna use the acryl and water to mix up the colors and give it more opacity the way that I want it. I give her red eyes and I also give her red lips and touches of red in her face. After I'm ready and I'm happy with her face, I have to seal my work with mist to super clear. Now that the body is dried, I'm gonna protect my work with varnish mat. And then with a layer of Mr. Super Clear, I can blush it. I'm gonna use this blue resin pigment and of course the soft pastels. For the clothes, I'm gonna use the method of plastic foil and craft tape and I'm gonna draw the bodysuit that I imagine for her. After cutting all the bathroom and transfer to the blue vinyl, I start gluing in the body directly with the gel super glue. With the black lace, I start giving her the details. I put black lace around the neck and then with this transparent white lace, I'm gonna cover the bust. I'm gonna use also some details in metal gold. I want to give her like a skirt. For that I'm gonna use this white tool and this white ribbon. That I'm gonna cut it the part that I want it. And I'm gonna sew everything by hand around the skirt. And I finished the skirt in the upper side with the same black lace that I used in her neck. Okay. 
After everything is sewed, I attach it under the breast with super glue around it. And I finish everything with more lace. I want to give her a flame gloves, so I'm gonna draw the mold in the same blue vinyl that I use for the body. I'm gonna glue it directly to the hand. And of course, I have to paint these amazing monster nails with black. For the upper side, I'm gonna draw some flames. And I'm gonna paint it the inside of the vinyl in blue because it's white and it doesn't match. And I will finish with some glue glitters, also blue. Continuing with the clothes, I will finish everything with this tiny little light blue ribbon to make it perfect with some gel super glue around the bust. In the middle, I glue a gold metal cross and two gold circles for the nipples. Now it's time to glue the flames into the upper arms and finish with this black satin ribbon. And attach the rest of the hand. And finish everything with this blue light ribbon. I also finish the under part of the body with the same black lace and with the same metal details in gold color. Now it's time for the wings. I'm gonna use my wired 1.3 millimeters and I'm gonna use fibra, thermoplastic and I'm gonna use my heat gun. First I make the mold and now I'm melting the fibra around I'm giving her the shape that I like it for her, that I imagine that will be a dragon wings. And that's how she looks. I think she looks great. Now it's time to give her color. Of course, I'm gonna give her the same blue color for her body. And then gradually, I will give her a more darker blue, black, and then I'll finish everything with white acryl. After everything is dry, I protect my work with matte varnish. I printed the tail, the wings and this dagger in my 3D printer that I'm gonna send it and prepare to be painted. The dagger I'm gonna paint him in black and then in silver because I want to use my silver metal leaf. I 
I use female sticky product. I let it dry for 15 minutes and then I can glue the metal leaf. Brush it really good with a dry soft brush and I protect the work with varnish. And she looks amazing with the dagger. For the foot, I'm gonna use this jewelry gold wire around the ankles and I'm gonna finish them with these gold feathers. I attach everything with super glue gel. I give the same treatment that I give to the wings, to the tail, horns and ears. Starting with a light blue, a darker blue, black and white. And then I protect everything with matte varnish. It's time to attach the horns into her head. I'm gonna do it with a pin and hot glue. and the ears also. Now I'm gonna give her the six orange stones that she have in the horns. I will finally attach the head to the body 
trying not to destroy anything. And it's time to attach the tail to the body. First, I make a wall with my Dremel in the middle of the tail. Then I inserted the wires that I'm gonna glue with the UV resin. I cut it, measure it. I make it a hole in the back side. And then I attach everything with UV resin and cure it with my UV lamp for 90 seconds. And I do exactly the same with the wings. I want to give her a veil and I'm going to use the same white tool that I use for the skirt, the same ribbon that I use for the skirt, but I'm going to give her a touch of this blue organza, then I'm going to sew it everything by hand in the top of it. I make it two small incisions and I insert it in the horns in place. And it's time for the eyelashes. As normal, I use doll eyelashes with tacky glue. And then I finish her with some high glossy varnish to her lips and to her eyes. And my Chenu Chiva is ready. She is amazing. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, please. Help my channel to grow up. Like it. Leave a comment. I read all of your comments. They are really important for me, but you already know that. You can see that the standard I did it in my last video. I'm gonna also leave in the description box all of the links of the other artists that make part of this collaboration and I want to thank you guys you are amazing artists and thank you thank you thank you for giving me this opportunity to work with both of you I'm really really happy you can find this doll in my Etsy shop in the link of description box with all of my material enjoy the rest of it and I see you in my next video bye Thank you.